So obviously Warzone 2.0 has brought along a brand new map in Almazra and as I'm sure most of you guys will already know there are plenty of old as well as current Call of Duty maps scattered throughout Almazra either as their own point of interest or some of them are actually just essentially scattered randomly throughout the map and today we're going to be going through every single map that I can find in Almazra and that actually includes 12 different Call of Duty maps which is a lot more than probably most people think there are so without wasting any more time let's jump right into it. Now we're going to be starting off with essentially the most simple one which is also probably one of the most fan favorite Call of Duty maps in history and that is actually Shipment. Yes, Shipment is in Almazra. It's very much hidden away. It's on the very edge of the map. It is literally as far west as you can possibly go. If you look all the way to the left here at the Hafid port, it isn't actually located within the point of interest but over to the left there you can see there is actually a ship off the coast of that port. Now if you land on the ship you will notice that there are a few shipping containers at the back of the ship there and although it's not really a one-to-one comparison of the shipment that we all know and love. It is definitely meant to be laid out in the same way that shipment is. You can see running around here, there's the key shipping containers laid out. There's the sort of four stack in the middle there. And then there are also those ones on the outside that provide a little bit of extra cover. This one isn't identical, but it is pretty cool to see the little nod to shipment out all the way on the west of the map at the Hafid port. Now, the next one we have here is actually from the original Modern Warfare, so COD 4 in 2007. This one is the Showdown map that I believe was actually DLC, but we do see it in the very first mission of the Call of Duty campaign. It's the mission where you are essentially being escorted through this big area where you're kind of weaving throughout a city and the place that you end up being is the Showdown map. And as you can see here, this is... A really really good recreation of not only the actual map itself in showdown but the actual surrounding area looks pretty similar to how it did in call of duty 4 as well this is one that i actually did not know was meant to be in this map until i actually dropped there and went oh my god this is showdown from call of duty 4 i actually found this one live on stream and this is probably one of the coolest areas in the whole map for me personally i absolutely love it and the detail that has gone into this map is absolutely amazing next up we have arguably the most talked about and the the, probably the biggest fan favorite map in all of Al Masra, and that is Terminal. Now, this is obviously located down the bottom at the Al Malik Airport. It's all the way down there in the bottom right, and once again, this is a really, really good recreation of one of the undisputed best Call of Duty maps of all time in Terminal from Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare 2. Now, there are definitely areas that are pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio of the original. The airport is a lot bigger, though, so there's sort of like an extended area on pretty much every side of the map here, but as we walk through, you will see a lot of the areas that you guys can remember from Terminal. There's even like the little bookstore in the middle of the map. And this is one that definitely is a throwback down memory lane. The only thing that I noticed with this one is that the actual plane that you used to be able to board that everyone used to just camp at the back of like an absolute loser, that is actually gone now. I'm not sure why they've done that because that would have been actually a pretty cool thing to have there. But as you guys can see, there is no plane there. So pretty much everything is, you know, pretty identical, but the plane is definitely missing from where it used to be in Modern Warfare 2. Now, now moving on we have probably one of the most obvious ones and that is the Zaya Observatory which is obviously a remake of the dome map from Modern Warfare 3. This is once again probably one of the fan favorite maps in the whole history of Call of Duty. It's definitely the most memorable map from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and this is probably like the most important area of the map too because it is right in the center. It's pretty much the hot drop from what I can tell so far essentially being like the superstore of this map and it is on a massive mountain that is pretty much in the center of the map meaning if you do land here and you sort of take over this area you are in a very very good spot for the rest of the game this is another one that has a lot of detail to it it looks very very similar to the original map in modern warfare 3 once again it is obviously extended there's like the actual base map there but then it's pretty much just like five or six times bigger than the actual map because the outside of it is very much expanded but i definitely love this one and for me this is probably going to end up being the the place that i just continually drop over and over again because it is definitely one of the hottest areas that i've seen so far in my time playing now speaking of hot drops we have another very very hot area which is within the Al Masra city and this is obviously the recreation of high rise which once again is probably one of the most fan favorite maps in Call of Duty history this is another one that is just a, a massive trip down memory lane walking around this just feels so weird sometimes it does definitely look very different in terms of like the color palette and there's definitely a little bit less detail than there was in the original Modern Warfare 2 but once again I think they've done an absolutely great job with this one and this is another really important area of the map too like I said with the the observatory this is kind of like a key point of interest that if you can control this area then you are going to set yourself up very well for the rest of the game now the last of the old call of duty maps before we go through just quickly touching on all of the maps that are from modern warfare 2 this one is from the original 
Mon Warfare 2, and this one is Quarry, which is once again one of my personal favorite maps in that game. I absolutely love this map. I think this is the map that I got my first nuke on, actually. So it has a bit of a special place in my heart, this map. And this is another one that I did not know was actually meant to be in here until I was dropping in and I was actually once again live on stream and I saw it and went, hang on, that looks really familiar. And it turns out that it is the Quarry map from Modern Warfare 2. This is another one that is really, really good in terms of the detail and just like the similarities from the original map to this one. It is a little bit different in that there is actually a lot of water in the quarry that I don't think was there in the original. I can't remember, but I don't think there was very much water if any, it was all pretty much dry as far as I can tell. So it is a little bit different, but in terms of like the buildings and just like the color palette, walking around and seeing that like white stone everywhere, this one is definitely another throwback and it's actually a really fun place to drop as well. So that's it for all of the old Call of Duty maps. And I wanna say if I have missed any, be sure to let me know because there is a chance that I just haven't found all of these so far. For example, shipment, it's not a point of interest. It's very easy to miss. So there may be some that I've missed. So if I have missed any, be sure to let me know down below. But with that being said, let's get stuck into just quick going through all of the Modern Warfare 2 2022 maps that are in Al Mazra. Firstly, going through the three maps that are, you know, 6v6 maps of the smaller versions. We have got Embassy, which is located in Al Mazra City. It is actually pretty close to the high rise map or the high rise section of the map, I should say. And obviously, because this is actually in Modern Warfare 2, this is essentially a one to one recreation. There are some very, very slight differences and the obviously the look of the map in terms of the lighting and stuff that is very slightly different, but everything else is essentially a one-to-one -one remake of Embassy and it definitely feels kind of weird going through this map after having played it so much in the last few weeks and then just you know walking out of bounds and you're in the rest of the city so I definitely do enjoy this one we also have the Al Bagra Fortress which is down the very bottom of the map on its very own island actually it's just below the terminal part of Al Mazra and this one is once again pretty much exactly the same as it is in multiplayer it is a little bit extended though so the whole fortress is actually a little bit bigger than it is in the multiplayer version but obviously the actual 6v6 map that we have it is pretty much identical within that fortress lastly we then also have the zakwa hydroelectric plant which is actually a point of interest so this one's very easy to find and again it is kind of weird just walking through here and you know that this is a map that we've probably all been playing on quite a bit in the last few weeks and then you can just literally swim out of the normal boundaries and you're just continuing on to the rest of the map so it feels kind of weird to get used to but it is cool to see this one make its way to El Mazra. now the other three maps that we've got are all actually from either ground war or invasion up the very top of the map we have the Tarak village which is literally just called that in both invasion and ground war once again this is a essentially a one-to-one -one recreation of that map i went through the whole thing and i don't think anything has changed whatsoever so it is cool to see that one there we've also got Saraf bay down the very bottom of the map sort of just above of fortress that I just mentioned. This area is actually really cool and every time I play this in Ground War or Invasion, I've always been thinking how this will actually translate over to El Mazra because I knew this was going to be in the map and having played it now, it does definitely fit right into the map. So this is a really cool point of interest and I can see it being a very fun place to drop. Now the very last map that we have on El Mazra is Saeed, I think it's pronounced. And this is the sort of smaller map that is in Ground War and Invasion. It's a very sort of linear map. And again, this is another really fun area to play in Warzone, just because it's obviously so fast paced and so chaotic in the multiplayer. But in this, you've got to play it a little bit slower. And all of those buildings make it very interesting. So I think all of the Modern Warfare 2 maps, especially the ones that are on the large scale modes, they have really been integrated really well into this map. And to be honest, every map that I've listed here, including the older maps, they've all been integrated really, really well so it is definitely a very cool touch from the developers but that is actually all 12 of the maps that i have found throughout al Mazra. like i said if i've missed any be sure to let me know down below i will make sure to cover that in a youtube short i think i've covered all of them but i haven't scoured every single millimeter of the map so there's probably a chance that i have missed some smaller ones so like i said be sure to let me know down below i'm keen to hear what are your favorite parts of the map so far whether they are some of these modern warfare 2 or older call of duty maps or whether they are completely brand new areas of the map so let me know that down below if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to leave a like down below and if you are new to the channel then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications but with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and i'll see you all out there on the war zone